Okay, to show you another example of a, um, a sub that has cells in last row, um, this time we want to show the contents of the last row rather than um, write something to the last row. Um, so I have a, um, a sub called show last row that um, for the time being I've copied the code above empty next row, but I want to um, do some minor modifications. This time um, I still want to define last row and compute that, but now instead of setting cells equal to something, um, I want to include a message box with a concatenated message that um, uses the cells to display the contents and whatever is in the last row. So I have a, uh, a fixed message again. Um, the last user entered was, and then I'm going to concatenate the cell's um, last row, but now I'm getting rid of the plus one, so we want to show the contents of the last row. And we don't need the input box. Okay, so I've concatenated a message here um, with some English, I forgot my concatenation symbols at the end here. Okay, so I think this is correct. So let's go ahead and run this. And we get our result. Um, so I stumbled around there a little bit. I had the wrong macro assigned to the, uh, the button since I had copied the um, the previous worksheet. But you can see how it's flexible if we add another row. It still shows the last row. So it's computing the last row, um, looking at the cell contents of the first column and the second column in the concatenated message. So I'm computing the last row in the message box shows the last row from column two to show the name and um, the cells for the last row in column one to show the employee ID uh, with the uh, phrases that have been concatenated.